What's up guys? Welcome to your sixth Java programming tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over something extremely fun and you're going to love it because now we're going to get to the point to where you can start accepting user input and what you can do with it. I'm going to get rid of everything inside of my two curly brackets after my uh, my main method, right inside my main method. And I'm going to create something called a scanner class. You need scanner in order to take input or to read through things and I'll go over the, I'll go through them with you as like we get to different things like whenever we go to file creation and when we would need the scanner class what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in scanner give it a name I'm going to name it in because I'm just gonna make it specifically for input and then I'm gonna set it equal to new scanner because what we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna create a new scanner so that it can scan for what the user is going to put in. We're going to put a parentheses and make it system.in. Notice how I capitalized my S in scanner on both of them. This is because this method was I I I guess it was I guess it was created with the capital S instead of a lowercase. That's why it's not going to need a um it's not going to need or it won't take a lowercase s, I'm sorry and it's the only way we can use it as is if it is capitalized but after you declare it you do not need to declare it again because now we're able to use in as much as we want as I guess our scanner name whenever we close this off you're gonna see that I haven't done anything other than enter this and I'm getting some red squigglies underneath both of the scanners this is because we haven't imported the scanner class yet we need to import that and basically what an import is is whenever you are including a different class from a different location to perform specific functions that you haven't created in your program so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to or we're gonna highlight or we're gonna uh, hover over scanner and you're gonna see this section that says import scanner from java.util we can either click on that and it's going to throw it in at the top or if we erase it and we type it we can type import space lowercase import java dot util dot scanner and what this is going to do it's going to work the same way as just hovering over it and selecting import that's actually the faster way of doing it but if you have time beforehand before you do it and you just happen to remember it go ahead and import it it'll save time in the future whenever you're like why is this underlined and how do I get rid of it next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to want to ask them a message so we're gonna do our simple print line right here and we're going to ask them how old are you and whenever we close this off this is where we get to learn how to use our input right when you're declaring a new file or right whenever you're declaring a new variable or with a previously declared variable so up here I'm going to make a new I'm going to make a new variable it's gonna be a I'm not gonna now I won't make it a string yet I'll get into strings and converting from in, integers and doubles to strings but we won't worry about that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set I'm going to make a new thing I'm going to make a new variable called string. I'm going to give it a name and we're going to call it or not I'm sorry, not string. We're going to give it a name and I'm going to name it or yeah, integer. So we're going to do int. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it age and I'm just going to close it off right there because I'm about to set the value of the age down here. So what I'm going to do is I call back age up and I'm going to set age equal to the value of n dot the dot is a separator it's basically telling it that it's going to look through our scanner class and it's going to find a specific function in there and a function is basically just something that you can do with circuit with certain arguments and the arguments are what you enter if that makes any sense probably doesn't but I'll probably explain it a little better later on so we're going to do age equals in dot and you're going to get a bunch of 
a bunch of different things you can use right here but you're not going to need to worry about any of them except next int. Next int is basically going to say we're going to set age to the value of what you're going to input and it can only accept an integer. If it's a string it's going to mess up. If it's a double it's going to mess up. So you might be thinking why would we make it an integer if it can mess up so much? And the answer is because it's going to be a lot less memory and you'll learn about le memory about saving memory in the future. Um, it's going to use a lot less memory and it's good for practice um, to use it based it's good it's a good practice to use it based off of the val the variable that we're using. This is an integer so we're forced to make it an integer. Um, what we can do is then whenever we run this program at the bottom it's going to ask how old are you? I'm going to enter my age. I'm 16. And whenever I hit enter it's not going to do anything because this program right here is basically made to say how old are you and then it's setting the variable we don't have it outputting anything after you input your age so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another system we're gonna put another print line and we're gonna make it say you are put a space in there we're gonna put a plus there because we're gonna be putting the two things together age since we already set the age to what we entered down here age is now going to be 16 whenever I put it in again I'm going to put up another plus after that and we're going to put space years old now if it makes sense you'll understand when I said earlier that you it'll only work if you put a space in there that it'll put a space um, after and before you put your variable in so it'll space it out so that you can actually read what it's saying so whenever I run this program it's gonna be you are I'm gonna enter my name or I'm gonna enter my age and I'm gonna print out how old I and it's gonna print out how old I am so I'll run F11 F11 is the hotkey that I'm using in order to run it faster and easier it's good to remember hotkeys just so you don't need to always worry about finding out where the play button is and going up and clicking it each time because whenever you're writing code you just want to hit a key real quick to make sure your program is running properly at the bottom it says how old are you I'm going to enter 16 and it's going to say you're 16 years old because I am 16 years old and I told it that I was 16 year old 16 years old and I stored it as 16 years old another thing that we're going to be going over is I'm going to continue on using our scanner and I'm going to do it with strings and doubles real quick. So I'm going to put string, I'm going to put space name because I'm not defining it yet. And I'm going to change this to what is your name. So now it's going to ask what is your name. I'm going to go down here and change this to name. And you'll see that this right here, whenever I switch it to name, got underlined. That's because it's trying to make it, in, it's trying to look for an integer and store it as a string, but it can't do that because it's not the same variable that it's looking for. So we can erase this, and we can put in dot next. Either we can do next for a string or next line. Whenever you do next, it's going to take the very first thing you input without name or without any spaces. Um, I'm going to worry about first, I'll show you what I'm going to do with first, with no spaces, so I'm only going to use my first name, and then I'll show you how you can use your first and your last name if you wanted to. So we're going to close that off. We're going to switch this to name. We don't need any of this anymore because I'm going to make this simple. I'm going to make it your name is this is going to make it print out my name. So whenever I run this, I hit F11, which is the hotkey that I was talking about a minute ago. What is your name? I'm going to put my name is Alex, and it tells me my name is Alex. Well, thank you for reminding me, program. And in order for you to do first and last name, this is going to wait for you to hit your enter key or your return key. You could type in next line, and it's going to take everything up until you hit your return key. So whenever I put 
what is your name and I put Alex March it's going to come up with your name is Alex March thank you for telling me my name again doubles related to who you are I don't really know what you can use a double with I'm just saying like we can just make this double make it double number and we're going to make it say please enter a decimal number and we're going to change name to number this one down here also to number and can you guess what we're going to do next if you said that we're going to do in dot next double then you're right good predicting skills I really don't care but whatever so we're going to do in dot next double you see how it's popping up beforehand what you can do is whenever it pops up and that's exactly what you're looking for just hit enter and it'll put it all in there and all you need to do is add the semicolon so we're gonna change this to your number is we're gonna run it real quick and say enter number five point two bit weird number and it's gonna output my number again for me that's all I have for you for right now uh, practice with this practice with everything you've learned because soon we're going to be going over not what we're going to be going over we're going to be making a program a real program not just a bunch of stuff asking for your name we're going to be doing things like conversion so you can learn how to convert numbers and like real life programs I guess have a good day subscribe please leave comments and feedback I'd really love to know what you think about my videos and I'll talk to y'all later see ya